Well, I've found my first lobster mushrooms of the season and our walk has immediately slowed to a crawl. <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy. You were just about to find these yourself. Alice! Nice. Wow. Oh, look at this. Nice. Nice haul so far. I'm glad we came back here. So this bump here, yeah, see, oh, there is a mushroom under. Yeah, so that's called a shrimp. Oh, okay. So some types of mushrooms, you want them before they breach the surface. So you're looking for shrimps, not mushrooms, which I think it just stands for shroom bump. Well, this is the last time I go for a walk without my knife or something to put mushrooms in because it is very obviously mushroom season. I knew that. I should have known better, but... Luckily, it's toque season, so filling my toque with mushrooms. <laughs> Are you having a good time, Frank? Uh, my mom took me to town today to go to the parts store and I dropped another $200 on some hosing, valves, and a couple pulleys that were getting a little wobbly. So we're just swapping them out before it uh, creates an issue, but it really adds up. Um, like the engine's expensive, but then you get into it and you realize all these things you want to change and they aren't even major components. So. Yeah, just a warning to anyone who thinks they're going to do something like this is the same lesson I learned doing the body work is it always costs more in the end than you could possibly imagine, even though you're doing it yourself. And I have a discount on parts, so I'm saving major money every time I buy parts. But yeah, it just really adds up, but it's worth it in the long run. It's better than having van payments and it's way cheaper than buying a new van to end up with something that is more reliable than most vehicles that are out on the road these days anyway. So I'm still waiting for the radiator to arrive. That will be probably about another week. So um, I'm not gonna worry too much about putting these other parts I got in quite yet because I do have quite a bit that I'm working on the computer behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus on that. And one of these days I will get around to adding some parts on, putting on the wires, all that kind of stuff.
Hmm. Well, good morning. It is Saturday. I did not do anything during the weekdays on my van. I had tons of other stuff to do, so just left this for the weekend. Uh, we're still waiting on parts, so it's not like I'm a hold up at this point, but I'm um, starting today by putting all of the <laughs> spark plug wires back on and uh, normally if I have to change out the wires, they're already in their right firing order and so I just have come up with like a way to tape them and swap them out so I can't mess up the order, which is really nice. But now I'm putting them on from scratch and it's really important to get the firing order right. So and I'm not putting on new wires because I did these like a year ago. So they're already, they're still in really good shape. So no need to change those out. Not into spending money where I don't need to. Let's do that. Hmm. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven. <laughs> that went a lot easier than I was expecting, but I guess now that the concept is in my head and makes sense, um, I don't have to spend as much time actually trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> so the, the, this is such an exciting part of the reassembly because these are some of the first pieces I took off. And I've had some people make comments or questions about figuring out what to do with all the bolts and leftover bolts and all that kind of stuff. And I put them all in labeled baggies when I took them off so that this would be easy. Um, it doesn't mean there hasn't been uh, bolts that, and nuts that magically went missing or magically appeared. There's been some of that, but for the most part, it's pretty under control. So I have fan cover. The four that are similar go for the upper fan shroud, which has four bolt holes. This has two holes and two little bolts of washer. So um, yeah. Am I doing it correctly, Frank? No, I'm doing it wrong. I need to play fetch with you, don't I? There we go. Boom. Oh, I had a note. Comes with a letter. Boom. Easy peasy. What's the trick for getting the bolt out? Oh, it's left hand trick. Not lefty loosey righty tighty. No. It's opposite. It's opposite word day. So I go left to tighten it. Correct. Okay. I don't think it matters. These things. Frank, are you having a ball as supervisor? <laughs>
so runny. Uh, get further back. Further back. Further back. Pull that spray can right back. It's like horrible there. coverage then. What? Horrible coverage then. I know, but then you don't get runs. Well, let's just paint this black too while we're at it. Well, hello there. I'm so sorry that it's such a short video this week. It's one of my shortest yet, but I just didn't really film much. And this video took place over almost an entire week, but I spent most of my time on the computer getting ready to launch the Frank sticker. So it is such a beautiful sticker and I had to do quite a bit of work with the help of my friend Flossie on the website to get it secure so that I could have my own store because I'm doing all the shipping out of my van um, and I also sourced all the shipping supplies and stuff locally instead of buying offline so trying to support local businesses as much as possible and the stickers were made in the USA so those are available now there's a link in the description down below and a hundred percent of the profits from these stickers go to support Frankie here he has a surgery in a couple weeks and he's on quite a few medications for his arthritis now that will be ongoing so I actually put the ball in motion for the sticker several months ago anticipating um, him just having more financial needs as he ages and um, it turns out I was right unfortunately I did not see this surgery coming but it's nice to have a way to uh, help make that a possibility for him because he's gonna feel a lot better when he gets these um, tumors removed so yeah that's it for this video um, in the next one I think it'll be a bit longer video and I think we'll be firing up the van in the next one so that's really really exciting if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching and I have one of the cutest clips of Frank ever coming at you to send you off on your way. I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.